Hello everyone. So there was a question on the community about uh, <clears throat> smart fields and uh, basically uh, doing few things uh, related to date, percentage completion and uh, calculating differences. Now this question is about uh, basically there are three questions, three questions if I look at this question and these, these three questions are related are related to each other. So let me start with the first question. So the first question is about start and end date or basically any date field. And uh, the question is about how to change the format. Now, if you are a Jira admin, what you can do, you can go to your system, Jira admin, Jira instance uh, system, and then go to advanced settings. And here you have the option to change the date format, but uh, it may not work for uh, the new issue view. It will not work for the new issue view. So you can try, you can see, I mean, it, it might not work everywhere, but maybe uh, it will still do few things for you. For example, uh, the date format is now based on the language preference. So this is question number one. The, the second question is about uh, how to calculate the percentage progress. Now this is interesting because many people want to know how to calculate progress or how to display uh, progress. So in Jira, you don't really need to create a custom field because that is the question. What custom field do I need to use to calculate the percentage progress? So you don't really need a custom field. In Jira, the progress is based on, uh, it could be based on number of issues resolved. It could be based on uh, story points. Uh, and uh, it also depends on uh, what scope you have and also at what level you want to do it. So first you have to figure out uh, what is the definition of a progress because the most simple definition could be, it may not be accurate, but the most simple definition could be based on number of issues resolved. So if you resolve an issue, the resolution field is updated along with resolve date and that actually, I mean, Jira consider that as the closure of the issue. So that can be one major. And of course, you know, do your calculation. I mean, not only do your calculation, but use this this in your reports. Now, when how you do your reports is again, it, it may not be straightforward, but you can use uh, simple Jira reports, or you can use uh, EZBI. If you're using advanced roadmaps, you have, I believe, uh, this percentage progress based on the count. And also, I think, uh, based on story points. So you can take a look at that. The last question is about uh, how to calculate the difference between two days. So you can do that using advanced roadmap. And I have shown this in a couple of, maybe, couple of my videos. So if you go to my website, ravisaga.in, and if you go to courses and uh, mastering Jira cloud automation, just search for diff. So I, I made two videos, like how to calculate uh, date difference and also how to uh, calculate date difference based on uh, or, or basically days different but only business working days or working days whatever so you can do that with, with the help of automation you can actually create one uh, field and update it on maybe some event maybe that event could be any issue update or any any event basically and that is it i thought i'll probably talk about it because uh, uh, there are actually three questions, but uh, if you're a G if you're an, if you're a new Jira admin or if you're trying to use Jira, then uh, hopefully these uh, answers will help you. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.